Clip Studio Paint version two has got a new feature. You can see it, hand scanner. Though to be fair, it really should be called finger scanner. Great for fingers, but for hands, not so helpful because it doesn't move the hand. So if you move the wrist backwards and forwards, do various things, crunch up the hand, it doesn't move. So if I turn it around, but still, you can see the fingers moving. So I'm just gonna hold it up like that, and you can see it makes a fairly decent. Now if I clench my fist, you can see there the result. If I put a finger up, if I put that finger up, it does work it out. It also tries to do a few other things as well. If I go for the other hand, let's just go for the other hand, and you can see it's, it's all been applied to the right hand. And you can see it says there, FaceTime, and I can pause as well, so click there, pause capture, so it's frozen. So let's just go back right to the start. Key thing is, here, tool property. Got the tool property for the hand, I'm just selecting obviously a hand there, and you can see as I go down here, you've got the hand here, the hand pose, and I can actually just manipulate it here as well. But what you can also do is you can click here, hand pose, so that's hand pose, just click, and this comes up. And again, you can start moving your hand, and the fingers will move, and it will follow it. You can apply it to the right, or you can apply it to your left hand. So if I move my left hand now, the right hand doesn't move, but the left hand does. It doesn't have to be, of course, the right or left hand that you're holding up. Both can be uh, used, of course. So I'm just gonna cancel there. Now you can also, if you select the hand, of course, you can still go and manipulate them normally, though I must admit, pretty tricky. But what you can do with that selected, go down here and you'll notice you've got this bar. And this bar, you've got an option here. Just click there and you've got pose scanner, use 3D pose material, and you've got hand scanner. And it says camera and it's using my webcam. So again, I can select that, so select that and it pops up. Now I didn't do anything particularly, I didn't allow access to my camera. That was it, it comes up and says, allow access. And you can see now, as I move it around, it'd be brilliant if it truly was a hand scanner, it would follow the hand, wouldn't that be great? But unfortunately, it is just fingers as far as I can see. But it is nice, and it does create some more, more realistic and unusual hand positions. And then once you're happy with it, course just get there just capture pause the capture so you've got it frozen click OK and that's it you've got your wonderful unique hand now hopefully some of the other features parts of the body will also have that same sort of feature really would be great but that's the new feature of clip studio paint version 2 and I think it's a great new feature Please check out my other videos on Clip Studio Paint. I've got quite a number on this channel. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm always adding additional new videos all the time. If you've got any questions about how to use this feature or any other feature in Clip Studio Paint, please contact me via the comments below. Also, a like or dislike, always appreciated. Thank you much.